Today, we're discussing another drug combination for HIV treatment called Dovato. Distinctively, Dovato contains just two drugs, differing from the traditional triple therapy regimes that have been prevalent since 1996. As things stand, Dovato is the only two drug combination licensed for patients starting treatment for HIV, though there are particular points to consider before recommending it as an option. Additionally, this combination is frequently chosen as a switch option for patients already on HIV treatment. Dovato is a noteworthy drug combination in the HIV treatment landscape, consisting of two key antiretroviral drugs, dolutegravir and lamivudine. Dovato comes with the convenience of once daily pill and a combination of a relatively good safety and tolerability profile. Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 28 of the Sex It Bites podcast. I'm your host Abhishek, a specialist pharmacist in HIV and sexual health. Let's think about Sam for a moment, a dedicated banker in his prime from Manchester. Sam juggles the demands of a fast-paced job that frequently requires international travel. Recently, Sam started his journey with HIV treatment, and for the past three months, he has been on a regime that requires taking multiple tablets daily. Managing these medications amidst his busy schedule has proven challenging, especially with the added inconvenience of side effects like daily bouts of diarrhea. Although his HIV is well controlled, Sam is actively seeking a more streamlined treatment approach. Enter Devato. This combination might offer an alternatives for individuals like Sam. With the convenience of one's daily tablet, Devato could align better with Sam's dynamic life, reducing the complexities of managing multiple tablets and offering a more favorable side effect profile. If Devato is part of you or your loved one's treatment plan, understanding its intricacies can prove immensely beneficial. To take full advantages of its benefits and effectively manage any potential side effects, you should have a solid understanding of how to use it. So let's look at Devato in a bit more detail. The optimal time for taking Devato is once daily, preferably in the morning at around same time every day. However, a couple of hours here or there will not make a huge difference in the grand scheme of things. Devato can be taken either with or without food, as its efficacy remains uneffective by food intake. However, the tablet should not be crushed or split in half, but swallowed whole. Devato is generally well tolerated, but it does have its share of side effects. Side effects are your body's way of saying that it's adjusting to the medication. These side effects are typically most noticeable when you first start therapy and generally decrease over time as your body adjusts to the medication. And for all you know, nothing might happen to you. However, if any of the side effects persist and become bothersome, contact your pharmacist or doctor to talk about side effect management or other suitable alternatives. The most common side effects include headache, dizziness, tiredness, low mood, anxiety, insomnia, nausea, and vomiting. Speaking specifically of nausea and vomiting, if you vomit, Within two hours of taking the tablet, take another tablet immediately and then take the next dose as usual the following day. In certain group of patients, Dovato is known to cause weight gain. The exact mechanism behind this observation is currently unknown and remains an active area of research. Hence, for those on this treatment, 
it is recommended to routinely monitor your weight. If you observe a significant increase that worries you, it is crucial to raise your concern with your doctor. Now, let's look at what to do if you miss a dose. If you forget to take Dovato and notice within 18 hours of your usual pill taking time, take the tablet as soon as you remember it. Then take the next dose at your usual time the following day and carry on. However, if you notice after 18 hours of your usual pill taking time, then do not take the missed dose. Wait and take the next dose at your usual time the following day. The important thing to note is not to take double dose the following day to make up for the missed one. On the flip side, if there is a rare event where you overdose on Devato, it is essential to seek medical help immediately, especially if you are experiencing side effects. Let's now look at another very important aspect of taking HIV medication called drug interactions. Dovato can sometimes interfere with how other drugs work and vice versa, a phenomenon called as drug-drug interactions. These include, but not limited to, metformin, which is used for diabetes, certain anti-seizure medication, calcium or iron supplements, antacids or indigestion remedies, and certain antibiotics used against tuberculosis or TB like rifampicin. Hence, it is absolutely vital to make your doctor and pharmacist aware of any other medication you take, including over-the-counter medication, vitamin supplements, herbal supplements, and even class A drugs like cocaine, ecstasy, crystal meth, etc. to ensure that they are compatible with Dovato. Remember, it is in your best interest to ensure that these interactions are effectively managed, as this will contribute to the effectiveness of your treatment and your overall health. Now, with any HIV medication, there are certain considerations that you have to take into account. If you're pondering about alcohol consumption, caution is advised as excessive alcohol might hamper your treatment adherence and place an additional strain on the liver. If you are pregnant or actively trying to conceive for breastfeeding whilst on Devato, it is crucial to have a thorough discussion with your doctor to ensure the safest route for both you and your baby. In wrapping up our deep dive into Devato, it's evident that the evolving nature of HIV treatment continues to present us with effective and manageable options. I hope that today's discussion has enriched your understanding on this regimen. However, a final word of caution. This episode is meant to inform and not to substitute professional medical advice. Always consult with your healthcare provider for any health concerns and do not stop taking your tablets or make any changes to your regime based on something you have heard here. If you believe that you have a medical emergency, please seek immediate attention from your doctor. In our upcoming episodes, we will continue to explore other treatment options and strategies in the world of HIV. Remember to follow us on Twitter at RealSexAdBytes and me personally at FarmIDExpert for more updates. Until then, Stay curious, stay informed, and most importantly, stay safe. I'm your host, Abhishek, and I'll see you in the next episode.